Well, after a few days of operation, my dot matrix clock that I assembled last week seems to have developed a problem with the display. Let's take it apart and see what's wrong. Well, it uh, it's happened. We've seen that there's a, there's a couple of LEDs that have gone out on this thing now. I just reset this thing so uh, we can figure out which ones are shot, but there are a few LEDs that aren't working. And I've already changed one. And it looks like we've got one more, maybe two, that aren't working. So I'm going to take this thing apart. I've got a couple spares, as they did ship me five uh, spares with it. So um, we'll pull this thing apart. See, there's one out there for where, where the end was, too. We'll figure out which ones are shot, and then I'm going to change them and make a quick little video on this uh, on this thing, and then we're going to get on to the next build. So I'm going to mark the ones that are bad. I already, I already tagged a few that looked like they're ready to burn out. That one has gone out, so I'm just going to put black dot on that one. So I know which ones I'm changing. I'm just going to observe and see which ones, if any, aren't lighting. And then we'll get the spares out and swap them out here. So I'm just going to do this by observing each of the LEDs. And some of them, I see some of the lights aren't even lighting up. On, or Not all three of them are lighting up on some of them. But we'll look at each row and determine whether any of them are, are out. Well, looking at them all in the matrix as they're scrolling, it seems like there's only the one that's out. So let's change this. I'll show you guys the procedure on how you change a surface mounted component without uh, causing any damage to the rest of the set. So I'm just going to go get the spare one. So here I have a spare. I've actually got three more spares, so I can lose three more of them and still have a functional clock. But it's kind of annoying that two so far have failed because I already changed this one before. That one went out. That one actually shorted. And when it shorted, it caused the whole row to light up all the time. So it was really, really strange looking. But now that my iron is warming up, let's proceed to remove it. I'm going to use these new uh, helping hands that I've got. This should let me uh, see these things really clearly. Now the neat thing about these magnifiers that I just picked up is that there's there's a 1.8, I think it's 1.8, 2.5, and 5 times power, so I can uh, really magnify. Now I really need to get in and inspect. I can get in really close and inspect work with the extra lens. So I'm on a, I think I'm on a two and a half times power. So we're just going to go in here. We're going to lift this. LED out of place. I was looking for my solder wick wherever I've done with it. I probably don't need it to take this out anyway. I'll take the power off this thing. I'm not going to be obviously working on this thing energized. And we're just going to heat up. Get the solder hot and just lift it. Oh interesting. It's like it it's like it wasn't tacked down properly on the other side. Let's just try resoldering that thing. Maybe one of the sides wasn't uh, maybe one of the sides wasn't soldered down properly and it let go. Because that came off the board really easy. So I'm just gonna try, I'm just gonna retack that. Maybe that's all it was. Was uh, the solder let go on one side. in this way. Look at that. It's working now. 
it was just this one here. I guess when the when I soldered it down, it didn't. Uh, it, it's it, the solder got onto the pin, but it didn't actually uh, transfer to the board properly, and it didn't heat. So that was all that was wrong with this one. The other one that shorted though actually dead shorted and took out the whole row, but this one here just failed to light, and just resoldering that solved the problem. So now we're back in business. What I've been able to find is under real close inspection, you see this five times magnifier. I've been able to find a couple of cracked connections on here on some of these LEDs, and that would certainly explain why uh, some of the LEDs internally don't light. I've gotten myself a very fine uh, tipped iron as well now for doing this fine SMD work because the next clock I'm building, the propeller clock, the connections are even finer than this. So I'm just inspecting all the LEDs to make sure that they're all lighting. They all looks like I've got them all pretty much all going now. I'm just looking to see if there's any individual lights that aren't lighting up on here. Because each one of these has got three diodes in it. So far these are good. Oh, that one's got one that's out. It's looking to see the rest of the row, to see the rest of the rows lighting. Yeah, just this one here. The one on the right is not lit. So I'm just going to get in here with my inspection lens. Looks like this one may have a small crack as well on it. So let's just redo this one connection here. Okay, all the LEDs are now working, so I can put this thing back together. So, you know, if you put one of these things together, um, these connections here are very critical, and even though they look good, uh, when I put the, uh, I could actually see it when I looked at it with these things. Um, I used the, not only the double lens here, but I put the third lens down to see it as well, and uh, that way inspecting it with this actually allowed me to see that a couple of them weren't as good as they looked initially. So let's put this back together and uh, I'll call this one a success. And then we can start on the next project, which is another SMD with even finer connections than this one. So that's it, back together. Hopefully it's going to uh, last and I can put this spare part away in case I ever need it. I've, now got, I've still got four spares. Thanks for watching this quick service video on my dot matrix clock. We'll catch you in the next one, which we'll be doing next.